Well, hello, hello, hello. Take a look at this little darling. I found it at the grocery store, but I would much rather have gone to the pumpkin patch and gone to the field and picked it up from where it had grown and bring it home with me. But this is a nice, clean pumpkin from somebody's pumpkin patch, but I bought it at the grocery store. I love, love, love pumpkins, and I love that they represent fall. And going to the pumpkin patch is an activity that is super fun for families, no matter how old you are. It's just one of those things we do in fall, and we really enjoy ourselves. And I wanted to introduce you to Scott, my scarecrow of shapes. Yes, he has lots of shapes that make up his face and his body and his arms. We have been talking about different kinds of lines. We have been talking about shapes. So let's use what you know and make a scarecrow. I love it when I rhyme. The very first thing that I want you to do is draw a circle in the middle of your paper. Go all the way around and back to the top where you begin. Take your time, circles can be lumpy if you go too fast. Great, so there we've used a circle, that's one shape. Now let's draw his shirt underneath by adding a square. square right there. So the circle is above and the square is below. Now let's add a shirt. There's a line down the middle because this shirt has buttons. And it also has a collar. So let's make a shape that looks like a Triangle, make a leaning line down and back up to the corner. What do you know? You have made a triangle. It's one of those triangles that is what we call upside down. Lean down and lean back up for another triangle. There are two triangles, a square. Actually, when you draw a line down the middle of a square, it looks like a rectangle in there. <laughs> wow. Next, let's add a rectangle right at the top of the square. Right here at this top corner, go over, down, and back across to make your rectangle over there on that side. Let's do the same thing on the left. I always use my fingers like this to represent the letter L to remind me that this is the left side. This is the right and this is the left. Okay, so now that we've done the shirt and the sleeves, add a small square at the top of that rectangle. Add a small square at the top of that rectangle. That right there is that stick that's inside that keeps the shirt straight up like that. And it's sticking out on both ends, so we'll use a little square for that. This square, this, this scarecrow has a very cute face. So let's start with a triangle in the middle. Lean down, lean down the other way, and connect straight across. For a beautiful triangle in the middle of his face. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do the hat because the hat is a triangle as well. So right there, that line that's the bottom of the triangle is touching the top of the circle. And then we'll start at the top and pull all the way down to the end of that line and go back to the top, pull all the way down to the end of that line. And now we have, hmm, how many triangles do we have? 
Do you see all of them? There's four. One, two, three, four. Wow. Next, add the eyes. One, two. And put a little circle inside. One, two. This scarecrow is looking to the left. No scarecrow would be complete without a great big smile. And their smiles look like this. Now add some hair, straight lines, little short straight lines for the hair. Make the hair come down from under the hat, all the way down from under the hat. Straw for the hair. Oh, and there's straw coming out of the sleeve. So add straw on the right and the left. Ding, left. Okay. Well, our friend, the scarecrow, is looking to the left because someone has come to say hello. Someone who is supposed to be afraid of the scarecrow. I have two circles there. One, two. Let's add a little triangle on the side. Yes, you guessed it. It's a bird. Now I'm going to make a long triangle with two leading lines that go into the bottom of the circle and then straight across there. And an eye. So our friend the scarecrow is looking at his friend. Use a bumpy line to add some clouds. One on the right. And another one on the, the left. I'm glad you guessed it. I wanted to add a little ray of sunshine. So I'm going to put a curved line up here to show that the sun is peeking out from behind the clouds. That was fun. Scott the Scarecrow has lots of shapes. And this one even has a couple of zigzag lines on its hat. We talked about zigzag lines. Here are the bumpy lines here. There are lots of circles. His face is a circle. The eyes are circles. The bird's body are circles. There are four triangles, the hat, the nose, and these two triangles for the collar. Two rectangles here, a big square in the middle of the shirt, and two little squares on the end. Well, I had fun with you today, and we've reviewed shapes. We used shapes to draw a picture. Now take your time and color, make it beautiful, and share it with someone. Remember that art makes you smart.